mainland Panama, but only literally speaking. The conveniences and luxuries we enjoy as Americans are foreign to those living in Bahia Anda. Bahia Anda is isolated from most of the world and isn't really exposed to modern culture. To improve life for those in Bahia Anda, Neil Christensen, the founder of Give and Serve, is partnering with us to video chat with the Panamanian students. Our middle school honors English classes are planning a partnership project with Give and Serve, a nonprofit organization helping the natives of Bahia Honda Panama. Via Skype, we plan to teach the students English and also what our culture is like. In return, we'll learn about their culture and daily life. Our objective isn't to change the life and culture that they've had for centuries, but rather interact with them and benefit from each other. We can't wait to start Skyping. We can all be like teachers and teach those who are hungry to learn. As of right now, we are writing letters to companies to help us sponsor the project, such as Staples and Dick's Sporting Goods. I can't wait to get the letters out. I can feel that it's going to be something huge and I'm so honored to be a part of it. As of right now, we're coming up with questions to ask Neil Christensen about the kids in Panama and what their daily life's like. Today's the official kickoff for Operation Panama, and we're really excited because we're going to be asking Neil a bunch of general questions about Panama. How difficult was the decision to pack up and leave California in order to give up yourself to make a difference? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> it wasn't too difficult because I've made a lot of decisions in my life to pick up and move and live in different areas. And I have been very selfish, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I've been selfish in my decisions to do in California, and I had great friends, and my lifestyle was very easy jumping, uh, uh, but I always knew after graduating college that I wanted to do something more meaningful, more purpose, and, and more a hard decision to pack my bags and move down to Panama. I was really surprised how humble Nate was, and I can't wait to start Skyping with kids. Distance learning is a great way for two completely different cultures and communities to come together and not only come together, but also learn together. <laughs> I'm extremely grateful for this opportunity. Even though lands and seas physically separate us from the Bahia Onda natives, we can rely on video chat to build us that bridge of connection.